Hello, my name is Brett Murray. I'm a senior slot back on Washington and Lee University's football team. Um, I started playing football when I was in fourth grade when I moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee, Lookout Mountain particularly. Um, they had a rec league um, when I was in fourth grade and been playing every year since. What it means for me to be a football player here at Washington and Lee is just that it's, one of, it's just one of the most tremendous honors that I've had the opportunity um, in my life. Um, just seeing some of the past players that have played here and you know seeing guys when we went to the Hall of Fame um, dinner and seeing some of the older guys who've played football here 20 30 years um, before my time it just honestly makes you feel so lucky and you know the school hasn't changed much at all from the time they were here so it's just a unique opportunity that I just couldn't be more grateful and, uh... my interest off the field well I'm double majoring in business administration and environmental studies so obviously I try to find I have a lot of interest in environmental in the environmental field and especially sustainability um, other than that I really enjoy music a lot um, I love listening to music and I love um, watching movies as well um, all kinds um, I've taken quite a few movie classes in high school so um, wouldn't say I'm on Charlie Westfall's level in terms of the movies, but I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it for sure. If I could have my last meal would be my mother's Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving for sure. It is my favorite meal, favorite days of the year, just solely on that. Uh, we have prime rib and the best turkey and there's stuffing, sweet potato casserole and the works. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. If I could have dinner with one person from history, I think it would it'd be between two people, I'm pretty sure, between George Washington, um, just to ask him his opinion on you know the way things are going, I guess, currently, and I guess any advice he could give. Um, the other person would be Thomas Jefferson, basically for the same reasons, to see, I guess, to evaluate, just to ask their opinion on how um, I guess how we've progressed as a society and things we could do better. If I had a day in Coach Abel's shoes, how would I spend it and why? I would, if I were Coach Abel, I would um, develop a little quarterback package for myself, a little wildcat package, something similar to what I did in high school just for goal line situations and whatnot. Um, but I'm sure it would involve watching a lot of film and just getting after everyone. Um, but yeah, I guess that would be about it. If I could choose, if I could play another position on the field, I would. It would either be between on offensively, I would love to play quarterback if I could throw the ball. Um, but um, just to have the ball in your hands and to be able to, I guess, contribute to your team as much as possible. Um, and also cornerback. That's I played cornerback in high school, and that was something I really enjoyed. Um, just competing with receivers, it's just a really unique position and you still have the chance to be, come up and be physical, but not to the point where, I guess, comparatively to a safety where you have to really come up all the time. If they made a movie about my life, the actor that they would choose to play me would have to be, if I could choose, it'd have to be probably Ryan Gosling. Um, it would have been Brad Pitt a few years ago, but feel like he's kind of started to fade out of the movie scene a little bit more and then Ryan Gosling's kind of taking control so my must watch television shows um, well there's quite a few I, um, I have to start with Arrested Development is one of my favorites and something that I've really come to enjoy watching more and more um, even shows like Modern Family something that me and a lot of my friends like to watch um, in addition, the new American Horror Stories. Um, it's a very interesting <laughs> horror TV series and it'll get your blood flowing for sure, so that's always exciting. My plans for following graduation are, I'm still a little bit up in the air at this point, um, but I'm hoping to get a job with a consulting firm here for the next few years and then in two to three years try to go to um, graduate school for an either an MBA or an even a joint law degree with that. Um, 
But yeah, I'm still working at the details there.